Well, we're back right here on Monterey on tonight with our very first guest <laughs> on show number 71. And I have to tell you guys a story. It was about two months ago, three months ago, that I took T.J. Kunster, who was one of the guests on our show, the gentleman who was the musical director for the Glenn Campbell Orchestra that for 35 correct. years. And I said, you know, T.J., you haven't been out by the Highlands Inn, um, Carmel Highlands area, and I want to take you out and show you the view. And right below the Highlands Inn is where Brad Pitt bought his $40 million house. <laughs> so we go out to the Highlands Inn, walk in the door, and this gentleman is sitting behind a desk. And there was just something about the connection with Michael Allen. <laughs> And we started talking, and the first thing that caught me was he said that he had worked, I don't know, I gave him some questions. He said he had worked at GTE. You remember that? Oh, yeah. I mean, I know you remember working at GTE, no, but no, you remember, I remember my we question. Talked, we talked about a bunch of stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So I said, oh, Michael, you worked at GTE, General Telephone and Electronics? And he said, Yeah. I said, can you tell me, please, why that company changed its name after all those years from GTE to Verizon? Oh, it's worse than that. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So what happened? Tell our audience. Oh, Michael. that's that's a weird that's a weird part of history. Um, I, I started with GTE in '87. Yeah, right, and yeah. and you've got my weirdo oh, bio. But I got a bio that, here about this no, guy. Okay, that all won't right, quit. <laughs> I'm not. I'm unimpressed with myself. I know. But anyway, the but but GTE. What happened is, GTE the company. I came back to him in '95 because I'd been gone for just five years. But I came back to him, and we merged with Atlantic Bell out east. Ah. Well, I think I told you that's the stupidity of what what it was. I I always imagine men sitting in a in a little conference room, yeah. probably drinking heavily. Yeah. But they all sat around and they came up with the idea for Verizon. Do you know? And you know what it is? It's no. crazier than anything. It's a combination of the word Veritas and Horizon. Veritas. So, Veritas. Yeah. So it's it's a truth horizon. That's what they came up with. A truth horizon. Yeah, so that's where Verizon that's what came Verizon from. Came they from. they took two words and crammed them together, and that's uh, what it is. So welcome to it. <laughs> yeah. But now think about this. Why would you change something so good as GTE to come up with a name like that? Why why would you do that? And think of all the buildings that had GTE on the building and all of the the letterheads and the the oh. stationery and oh, the I've, business I've, cards. And I've been through a bunch of mergers and it whenever you're corporate and you go through that, you know, everything has to meander its way through the legal department to do anything. And they have ultimate, you know, that's it, we're going to do this or we're not kind of thing but oddly i have to cast aspersions upon the company a little bit gte didn't have that greater reputation for phone service at the time oh. and so i used to come out i'd come out and see clients and they'd be they'd start complaining uh -huh. you know and so really we kind of overcame a lot of some negative stuff that we had when we became verizon it's like oh okay they're all a new company now so maybe things you know are changed and they uh -huh. did change they did change, but that, that they got was a, better then. Well, basically, yes, better. they had to. <laughs> well, needless to say, walking in the door at the Highlands Inn and, and meeting Michael for the first time, I just knew that he was going to be a super guest for me on this television show because look at this, uh, I, it's it's amazing. He was born in Santa Maria to a family of shoe repairmen who were in business for decades. Right? That was the beginning of his, his family career. Yeah. His mother was a stage mom who started him in voice lessons when he was six. Yes. You did that for 10 years. Yes, I did. And singing both popular and operatic music. I mean, what a talented guy. Well, you're very nice to say that. He opened at the Pacific Conservatory of Performing Arts at age 11, singing as an angel for a Latin piece from Catwalks Above the Stage. Yes. 
How did I know, just walking in the door that Highlands in, that this guy was going to have <laughs> this kind of a resume? At 12, he was cast in The Sound of Music, which ran for months. Pathetically, Michael will add that he is not a triple threat as he claims to be a lousy dancer. Oh, I'm horrible. I, I'm confident I, I sent I sent many many a uh, uh, a dance instructor to an early grave because I was just so terrible. They just run me through it over and over again, and I did the best I could. But it was like a it was like a you know a, a yak with club feet. I mean, it was the best oh, wow. I could do. At 13, he beat out hundreds of kids to be cast in the lead role of Oliver. They set box office records, and he did his own stunts. At 19, Michael's former high school director hired him as an actor and singer for the Great American Vaudeville Theater in Oceano. Melodrama, yeah. Wow. At 20, now listen to this career. He was hired by former ABC executive Dick Savage to write all radio commercials for KLOM and KLPC in Lompoc, California, and he turned 21 on the job. Subsequent to that, Michael created his own spot reel, voiced by him, and was hired as an on a DJ, DJ for KSMA and KSNI Sunny Country in Santa Maria, California. I woke up one day and I was a country western disc jockey. Wow, wow. This was not expected. But then, <laughs> in the early 80s, he moved to Reseda with his future wife to attend CSUN as a radio TV film student. That is correct. What a career you, you've had. Out of college, he was hired by Katz Communications in L.A. booking national advertisers for local stations like KOMO in Seattle and WGRZ in Buffalo. After this, Michael was hired by Magic 106 in Hollywood as the research grunt. He wrote this now. I did. <laughs> putting Nielsen <laughs> Arbitron data together for ad agency presentations. The fact that I brought up Arbitron, it hasn't existed for years. <laughs> so it's but like people, you go, wow, you are old. <laughs> well, talk about old, okay, I mean, please. Don't, okay, bring, okay. don't bring me up. <laughs> so, so Arbitron, you know, is now Nielsen. That's how we get yeah. our, our ratings. Anyway, uh, after this, Michael was hired by Magic 106. Uh, we said that. And while at K uh, CSUN, he was a researcher for KNBC in L.A. and the David Horowitz Close-Up Report Show. I remember David Horowitz. Yeah, no, I worked directly with him. He, he's a, he was a really funny guy. I've still got scripts. Do you? From yeah, Horowitz? Yeah, well, he'd do things, you know, uh, he'd do things that were really interesting. He, he would walk, he would stalk around the office, you know, and he'd have a newspaper in front of his hands. And he'd go, he shook it. And he looks at me and he goes, does anybody know about these ridiculous diet pills? <laughs> and I go, yeah, I do. They're diuretics. They call it the wet sheet diet. Oh and he looks God. at me and he goes, you do it. You do it. You, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I went, okay. <laughs> so... Um, Oh, you became a researcher for David. Now, look at this. I mean, there's this page ah. and page of this guy. <laughs> His Magic 106 contact got him an interview with the station manager of KNJO in Thousand Oaks, yes. where you started selling airtime. Yes, I did. Okay. After this, Michael was hired by KTIE TV in Oxnard and started doing Volvo commercials, <laughs> mall sidewalk sales, and the usual local stuff. Yeah. His career took off in 1987 when he was hired as the Yellow Page Man for GTE. So that began your GTE career. That began it. Yeah. It was, and it was, you and I were talking about, and, and you can go through this, like, you know, a guy I work with, he's a former radio guy who actually competed directly with Howard Stern in Atlanta, Georgia. Uh -huh. So he was, he was way up there. He, he stayed with it longer than me. He went, you know, small market, medium market, large market, right? Yeah. So, but uh, what was the thing you asked me again? I forget. Uh, I lost my track. Oh, GTE. But, but, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, what happened, we were talking about how cruel the business can be. Yes. And I went out on a Friday the 13th. Oh. It, it was raining, raining, very, you know, dismal day. I came back to the station. Everybody had been fired, all the creative staff. Uh, the only people that were left at the station were me and the rest of the sales staff. Oh, my goodness. And, and a lot of the people that got fired were people 
who had been hired that state by that station who went to college with me. Oh, my <laughs> goodness. Oh, so wow. I went, wow, this is a tough business. Yeah. So they all had their wake in the bar, and everybody went home. But it was shortly thereafter that I was hired by GTE. Well, he says, and this is so great about this guy, <laughs> after a midlife crisis and resulting divorce, Michael moved to the peninsula. That's how he ended up here in 2015 and has been a marketing coordinator at the Highlands Inn for what is now called the Hyatt Vacation Club ever since. That's true. And he refers to this job now that he has as a fun retirement job. And believe me, when if you go out to the Highlands Inn, and you walk in and you see Michael, you cannot resist talking to this guy. <laughs> no, seriously. I mean, he's like a magnet. Just TJ and I were there and he just pulled us in and we started talking. And I, I think in 15 minutes we were fast friends. And that's why I said, Michael, you got to be a guest on this TV show because what an amazing career you've had. Well, you're very All right, nice now tell me, tell me a little bit about what you're doing now because I'm curious about the Hyatt Vacation Club. How does that work? What When someone walks up to you at your desk at the Highlands Inn, what's the gig? What, what do well, you do? Well, it's, it's, it, I actually originally was, you know, and I can't, by the way, I have to, I didn't say this before we went on, but my boss contacted corporate and said, no, you can't promote that thing on his show. <laughs> no, I'm telling you right now. I got a text message from my boss saying, don't you promote that thing. But I, I can certainly tell you the truth about that I work there. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay, you know, I'm not going to, we're, right. we're not going to, we're not, we're not going to superimpose the entire No, no, we're promotion, not going right? to put the 800 number on but the no, screen. But no, what, what, it's the that. timeshare business, but it's really, what's funny about it is everybody says such a negative, you know, connotation about time timeshare. Yeah. I was on that side of the business when I got there because it's a way to use your real estate license. Oh, and and yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and so um, I did it for a year, but marketing is a bicycle I've always been riding on. So it was like, okay, this is so much easier and so much fun. Yeah. And I, you know, when you've been in a high pressure business your entire life, which is what you were in. Yes. And you're always under the gun. And and because it was a publication, you know, or you you're you're always on a deadline. Yeah. And you have a deadline and it's a drop dead deadline. Ooh. So when you've done that as long as I have, you really would like something a little more relaxing. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know your atmosphere there. Number 1, uh, I don't know how many of you out there Maybe you, the Fresno audience, okay, because we're on in Fresno. Yeah. You come over to, to this area. You go out to the Highlands Inn, which is absolutely the stunning. stunning view, unbelievable view. That's why I took TJ there. And I said, TJ, go and take a look at this from the, from the restaurant. What's yeah. the restaurant called, the name of the restaurant? The Pacific's Edge. Pacific's Edge, okay. And then there's Highway 1 right down below. And then... Over the fence that no longer exists because Michael <laughs> said today. Oh, it's it's hilarious. <laughs> that's where Brad Pitt's house is. Right oh yeah, below the Highlands Inn. Well, and you know all about this because you totally interviewed her. I did. Well, Nicole, yeah, Nicole was on the show, and we found out all about you know the 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 house and um, what's going on Forgive there. Forgive me and, while I daub my nose. Oh, please go ahead. No problem. We'll, Thank you uh, for the daubage. <laughs> uh, so yes. Uh, anyway, uh, it, it, go by if you're out on Highway 1 and you're going down to Big Sur or you're here in, you know, Monterey or Carmel, go out and say hi to Michael and tell him that you saw him on the Monterey on Tonight Show. And who knows? Maybe you guys will be interested in a timeshare. We're not, this is no well, pressure. Well, what I do is a, it's a vacation thing. So I'll, I'll teach you about it. If you show up, I'll teach you. It's, yeah. it's fun. And, and it's, you know, and it's... Uh, you know, th that's a conversation, you know, is what is your life, right? Is your life your job? Is mm. that it? Is mm. that all there is? Yeah. Or is, Ooh, is your like life? A song. Is it is a song. Is? Yeah, I saw Peggy Lee sing that. Did you? Is that yeah, absolutely. All is? Yeah, I did. I saw that when I was a kid. My parents did a lot of nice Great song. For me. Yeah, it is, right? She did Fever, too. Yeah, oh, yeah. But, um, yeah, that, it, 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 anyway. Um, but that's the reason that you are in that environment at the Highlands Inn because you're trying to get people interested in is oh, that yeah. all there is well is, is that all there is it's like 
what what we've really discovered certainly psychologically is you need a vacation. Yeah. You need it. Everybody needs it. And that. and there's there's times like like people have bought stuff. They actually bought stuff from me and they would say, "Do you know why I'm glad I bought this?" And I go, "Why?" You know, because they're a surgeon or they're an, a, a criminal attorney or uh-huh, something important. Uh-huh. And I've right. met a lot of very important people. Right. And they'll say, I'm glad I did it because it forces me to take a vacation. There you are. That's, that's it. And that's the thing. Forces them to take a vacation. Because a lot of people don't want to do that. They don't want to take a vacation. No. And you're going to slowly lose your mind if you don't. Yeah. <laughs> I but just came back from a 10-day. <laughs> <laughs> they, they call those people workaholics, don't they? Well, yeah. But, you're, you know, what happens to you is your productivity goes down. Yeah. It's called burnout. Yes, you get you're, you're, out. you've you've lost you've lost your humanity. You've yeah. lost your ability to have fun. There you go. No, That's I, I, I've my had a joke. Word. I've had a joke for a, a thousand years. Is that if you wanna you you wanna be a genius, you need to take some time off and be an idiot. <laughs> Be an idiot for a few days. I come love back. It. You'll I be a little smarter, guy. maybe. This guy is so <laughs> nice. Hey, before you go, you yeah. got to say hi to your two daughters. Oh, yes. Hello. Melanie Melinda. and Melinda. Yeah, and uh, she goes by Kay. Okay. Yeah, as, as she works for the and Japanese government. And you have government. a grandson, Adam, in Moore Park, California. My grandson, hello, Adam. So, see, that's why you're here tonight, because you're going to be able to do the replay and show them. Oh, la. And, uh, yeah, my, my, but you, you have to understand, whenever you, you speak your kids' names, definitely... In a setting like this, like a like a, a television show, yeah, they they go like this. <laughs> you have to understand, uh, but uh, in any case, yes, it's it's really it's really cool, and that's very nice. And someone's Melanie getting married in April. Yeah, my my youngest daughter uh, Melanie is getting married in April. Real nice guy. I really like Frankie oh, a lot. So Frankie. Yeah. So I'm getting they're getting married, and and uh, yeah, it's 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 really going to be real festive in April, and. That's really cool. And she has a degree in Asian studies and is a senior marketing analyst for the country of Japan in that's, Los Angeles. That's, well, she goes by K. Okay. And then there's a reason for that. We, we mailed her to Japan when she was 16 because she started learning to speak the language oh, on her own. Wow. Good for and her. And she took two college-level courses and passed them while she was still in high school. So we mailed her to Japan. <laughs> Which everybody was horrified. Oh, everybody, wow. how can you let your baby go? And we're going, no, this is going to change your life forever. And, what and are you it doing? Did, didn't it? it did. Yeah. And so she went there. But what she when you she got to Japan, the first thing you learn is you don't make people say a name they can't say. There's no L in the Japanese language, so it comes out Marinda every time. Don't make them do that. So she went with her middle name and became K. K. So she's like K to that. the world now. K to the world. Well, you can say hi to your daughters. You can say hi to anybody else, the folks with, that you work with over there at the beautiful Highlands Inn. Hi, guys. And uh, <laughs> it's been so much fun. And he used that word to have Michael here tonight, a really super interesting guy. And who would have known, just walking into the Highlands Inn, when he was there, that we have become friends. And he is on Monterey on tonight. Oh, I'm very proud to be here. Thank, Thank you, you sir. Thank You're you very so kind. Much. Thank you so much for being here. What a great story. I love it. I wish all my guests were like you with a... Look at this. Duke, oh, come now. Duke, look at I this. did that on my iPhone this morning you, over coffee. I, come well, on. I tell you, it's not it's, a big deal. I've never had anyone put a bio <laughs> together like you, Michael. Well, you're very nice Amazing. to say that. Amazing. All right, let's get back to more of You Know Who We're Playing Tonight featuring on this show. Jennifer Lopez, let's go see more, more J-Lo. J-Lo. Must have more J-Lo. Yep. <laughs> 